Hello, everyone. Byron here from the Savvy Team. Glad to welcome you back for this next session all about LG WebOS commercial displays. And we have our tour guide, our friend Craig Rathman from the LG Business Solutions Team to take us through this session and take it away, Craig. Thank you, Byron. And thank you, Savvy, for having me today. I'm really happy to be here and share what's new with LG and, and some really cool stuff we're, we're doing. Um, what, we're, what our plan is today is to just quick agenda overview. We're gonna, we're gonna show you a brand new product and we're gonna give you three performance insights we think are standout. Think, think there are things that really make a difference in helping you as an integrator stand out and helping us LG and Savvy as a technology provider stand out. So um, we're gonna look under the hood and we're gonna, we're gonna go through those insights and then we're gonna end it with one really cool surprise. We're gonna show you something that's never been seen before, not at an Infocom, not at a product demonstration, never. You are at the UL3G world premiere right now. So first thing I wanna talk about is the engine. Um, the thing that LG worked really hard on to make these relationships work. It's called WebOS. It's, a, it's an operating system that lays on top of a system on a chip architecture, a media player, essentially. And all that technology is wrapped up in a little chip and it's inside of our display. So the beauty is we try to make it easier for companies like Savvy to develop on our platform. And we, we, we focus on things like, um, like, like uh, development tools. We focus on the power of the chip. We focus on remote management. Um, we, 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 we make sure it has an adaptability so accessories can be clipped on or added to it. We're gonna show you an example of what that looks like today. And then uh, lastly, of course, platform security is really important to everybody. That's really neat stuff under the hood, but it's the stuff that we think makes WebOS a really fun and easy platform for developers like Savvy to work on. Um, from the LG side, well over half our product portfolio includes WebOS, over 60 different options. We're talking about from 22 inch displays all the way up to 260 inch LED displays. We have video walls that synchronize content across WebOS players. We have outdoor screens, stretch screens, curvable screens, just about any kind of display substrate you can think of that LG manufactures has a WebOS option or WebOS capability in it. So really strong platform, something LG is really, really behind in a, in a powerful way. And then one thing that makes it really cool is that all that technology gets delivered to you um, or your, or your customer through one wire. You, you connect a Cat5, Cat6 to the back of the display and you plug it in and the rest is automatic. It works. There's no fumbling with different, different cables and different connectors and things like that. One Cat5 to the back. That Cat5 contains content. It contains control for the display and the display in turn gives it back device health and diagnostic measurements. So you have a one-stop shop for all your protocol and all your management through one cable um, in, the, in the WebOS architecture. So it's fun to watch me show PowerPoints, but really we came here today to see something new. So with the help of my friend Vinny out in the Savvy Studio, we are going to introduce to you the world premiere, drum roll please, of the UL3G. There it is, Craig. Oh my gosh, the roar is deafening, Vinny. Can you hear that? All the way across cyberspace. <laughs> All right. Yeah, folks, we know that that's probably a display only a display guy can love because it, to the rest of you, it probably looks like a piece of glass with a black bezel around it. And that's what it is. Um, and you're right, display guys do get excited about things like that. But I'll tell you what's really probably more riveting and compelling isn't the display itself, it's what's going on inside of the display. And, um, and that's really what we're here to share with you today is what Savvy and WebOS have done inside the display to make it really truly unique and stand out. Um, performance insight number one, we call it um, the tri-pane. It's the ability to, to cut up and manipulate the screen. You're not looking at three screens right now. You're looking at one screen in portrait with three slices in it um, and three different content streams going to those slices. So you have a really great device. This display is set up for you know, maximum 
uh, content value, right? You've got broadcast, IP broadcast, you've got digital signs in the middle. You actually have a game in the bottom and it's keeping score of your game. And all three of these information, information bits are being delivered right to the guest in a very intimate setting where he's close to it and he's getting all this content delivered to him all through that one wire, mind you, um, for, to, you know, to enhance his and delight his user experience. Um, I'm going to show you it in an active environment, and you can see all three, all, all the displays in the background are tripanes. And if you notice, they all have their own separate content management. They aren't, they aren't mirror images of each other. They all have custom tailored content to each guest in each one of those bays. So everybody's getting a tailored message served up to them in their experience to try to make their experience better. That is, we're, we're so proud of the tripane. We love the tripane. We love what it does. And, and it's, it's been a really cool entertainment value tool for us. But think about it. What happens with the tripane when there's no one in the bay? You know, on a, on a morning before the place has really got popping and it's really fill, filled up with the lunchtime crowd, all those displays showing all that information is kind of meaningless because if you're if you're if you're just approaching or you're you're just a, just coming up to the T line, you really can't see what's on those screens unless those screens could shift and work harder in a different way. Well, we're going to show you that different way. It's called the track mode, and right now you see screens on the left with full screen images and big, big full screens with very simple messages, a graphic, the Q5, we all pretty much know what that's telling us. And the, and the cool waste management is talking about recycling and, and, and really good stewardship to, to the environment. But really big messages that can be broadcast on all those screens when people aren't in front of them. But then when there are people in front of them, we need motion sensing or card sensing. We need some kind of trigger to move these screens between the tri-pane and the full screen pane. And that is what we're here to show today is something called the attract mode. The attract mode lets screens work double duty as a billboard and also as an intimate information display, communication display when people are right in front of it. Vinny, my trusted, my trusted resource out, out in the studio is gonna show us what attract mode does and how it works. All right. Thanks, Craig. I'm going to take you guys over to this screen over here. And as you saw some of those layouts that Craig was talking about on that UL3G back there. So as I get closer to this one, this is an attract mode. And there you go. You can see it actually changed from a larger, um, a larger um, piece of content to something like this that has a lot more information on it that's going to allow me to read through it. I can see your specials and things like that. And it's just really letting you utilize all of the power of this WebOS engine here. Um, and this is just something that's really cool and it kind of changes the way your whole venue can function. Hey, Vinny, one thing I want to point out to people too is a track mode can be triggered a lot of different ways. I mean, you saw mm. the top golf picture that could be using a card reader that because people check into the bays. That could be one method right here. We're actually using a camera sensor to detect when you walk up. Right. So well, yeah, for this right track mode, a motion sensor is another option for that. But the point being that WebOS chassis with the system on a chip built in allows for these accessories to be attached to the display and give us these additional functional features. And then Savvy's really cool software algorithms, they're business rules, right? And when someone gets within a certain proximity, in this case, in the camera lens, we, we go into the track mode. The minute Vinny walks out, it goes back to a full screen billboard and it waits for the next the next guest or the next target to get within range, and then it delivers that close-up message. So really cool insight, really cool feature on the UL3G. Thanks, Vinny. So let me show you the next insight. This is a double whammy because this is one of my favorite things that, that happens on, the, on this WebOS platform, and it's control and it's monitoring. And what I mean by control is we can actually see the displays on the network and we can walk up with a handheld device and we can cha make changes to those displays right in the venue, right on the fly. Or we could be doing that exact same thing from a re remote location, 500 miles, 1,000 miles away, either way. Certainly when you're in front of the display, having a visual lock on it, you think of a sports bar, you think of any, any one of the sports bars that has 50 screens, they can walk up and make a change to the IP stream instantaneously. How easy does that make their life when if you've ever been in a 
sports bar and want to get your game on and watch them fish around for remotes and take a half hour to figure that out, it's, it's kind of mind blowing. The second thing though that's really cool is not only can we tell those displays what to do, but we can also diagnose their health. We can actually see what's going on with the displays. We can scrape the screen to see what the picture is, even if we're a thousand miles away, and we can make changes. We can do a factory reset. We can reboot the display. So there's a ton of things that you can do from a network operations standpoint because of the health monitoring. So two, again, really powerful features of the UL3G and the WebOS platform that Savvy brings us. Vinny, enough talk. Show them what I'm, show them what I'm trying to describe. Awesome. All right, Craig. Um, this is um, this is our signage wall here, and actually, you're seeing the tri pane that Craig had referenced a little bit earlier, which is a really cool thing that we can do, just breaking up the screen with uh, content distribution. And we can actually come in here and just change this very quickly to something, and that's all through that savvy and WebOS engine. Um, but as Craig was saying, we have a really awesome way to to diagnose. Um, and look at the health of these displays. And we can even do it remotely. So you'll see here, I'm gonna go into my Canvas dashboard. And this is just letting me pull in all my diagnostics. I have my IP address. I can see that they're online. And I'll go to my Picket Display 1. And it actually takes a full screen grab or a, a live screen grab of that display so I can actually see what's going on live. So I don't have to call somebody. I can just look and see what's happening. I also have my app versions, firmware versions, MAC address serial number. So if I needed to swap that display out, or need to do an RMA, I can pull all of my information. We also have power on, power off, reboots, all that great stuff that you're needing to remotely troubleshoot or uh, work on these displays. So it's just a really powerful tool for anybody uh, as an AV integrator or just someone who's trying to look in on their system. Vinny, you're pretty good keeping an eye on those 20 or 30 displays just on there, but I know for a fact that when there's 500 or 1,000 displays, but do you guys actually have a room in the back, which is a network operations center with that exact same interface up on, a, up on big, dis, large displays with tech sitting at the desk, and they're watching and monitoring the health and, and statistics on literally not a thousand, but thousands of displays exactly. all simultaneously. Yeah, and we've also added in a feature there to where you can actually get alerts bef uh, to let you know when a, a display goes down. So those guys can know um, they can know before the customer actually knows. So we can call them, get it fixed, and, and just keep them running smoothly as possible. Man, that's got to make you popular. I know I, know I like hearing <laughs> about it. All right. So we talked about some really cool things you can get right now today from LG and Savvy just by teaming up with our, with our, with our products and, and putting them in the field. But there's something you can't get today. As a matter of fact, there's something you may not even know about or have ever, ever thought about. And that is the surprise launch for today. So the UL3G, the last performance insight, which is really a future capability. It's not available in the market this minute, but you're gonna see how close we are in just a second. Um, now this was done long before there was COVID-19 and long before there were cliches about new normals and things like that. Um, we had to start working on this. It's, it's just Coincidentally, it, it is very timely in, in this current environment you know, our, our country is in right now. And um, it certainly addresses a lot of technological um, and user challenges I think that people are being faced with. And we, you know, we didn't plan it that way, but it certainly is timely. Um, what I'm talking about though, isn't something we could just come up with. It takes really strong partnerships and that the partnership between LG and Savvy set out with some customer insights in mind and we were challenged to come back with something that we really thought would delight customers. So as, as health beneficial as what I'm talking about is going to be, um, it's more about special interactivity and just a delightful experience that changes the way people engage with technology. Um, and I'm not gonna just talk about it. Vinny, are you ready? First time ever, folks. Yes, we're gonna show you gesture-based interactivity with LG and the WebOS platform. All right, thanks Craig. And we're actually going back to the same display that showed, um, that showed us having that attract mode active and we're using the same motion detector up here as you can see. And I actually, you can see my, my, my cursor moving around here. And if I click and swipe down, that's gonna change my layout. So I can click and swipe down again, and go to a new layout. So I have my two by two here. 
which is just really fun to play with. And actually, if I click and swipe left or right, I can change my source here. So you see my source in the top left changing there. So I actually want to go to a different layout here. We're actually back to that menu board. So this is just amazing. It's so much fun to play with, and it just changes the way we can interact with this display. Um, and as Craig said, we all know about coronavirus and COVID, um, but this is just going to allow you to not have to touch a display or a remote or use an iPad or anything like that. So I want to change my channel here and I can click and swipe and it's actually just changing that source again. So this is just, it's amazing. I've never seen anything like this or played anything like, or with anything like it. And it's just awesome. So Benny, Craig, that, that was awesome. That was, that was totally cool. And that, that again, I want to stress is a, is a future based technology, but as you can see, it's working pretty well. And uh, it's certainly something if you're interested, you want to reach out to the savvy team and ask them to, you know, let, let's talk more about it and what kind of applications you have that might might uh, be things that we can look at for a 2021 introdu introduction date. But with that, I am just about ready to wrap. Byron, are you back? Are you ready to, to sign this off for this uh, great group of people we have today? I am here. I was just uh, riveted by watching that, guys. So thanks, Craig, Vinny, and the crew for bringing us that really cool new cutting edge stuff, uh, as well as some of the other features that have been some of the mainstays of the Savvy Canvas, Savvy System, and uh, of course, much of that built on web OS, like you guys talked about. So with that, I think we'll call it a wrap. I'll just uh, sign off with a couple quick notes here. The next session comes up at the top of the next hour. That'll be all about audio distribution with Savvy Audio. So be sure and join us for that. And uh, we'll take a look at some other cool Savvy stuff there. And of course, uh, if you want to sign up for our existing dealers, uh, if you want to sign up for dealer training on Savvy3, you can do that via the website forward slash dealer training, hellosavvy.com if you're interested in becoming a dealer, as well as those emails and Q&A. The emails uh, can go to feedback at hellosavvy.com while the Q&A uh, is just right there on your screen. So uh, signing off from Dallas, Byron from the Savvy team. We'll see you at the next hour. Thanks a lot, everybody. Thank you, Byron.